Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Coding Circus. We are going to do one last thing for your project, for your assignment in this module. We're going to take our for loop that we did last time, our nested for loops where we created our grid. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to make them grabbable objects. So let's take a look at some code that would allow that to happen. So if you remember, in order to do grabbable objects, you have to import the grabber from our tools menu. We do have to use the viz connect configuration so we can get the little grabber hand. And then um, we're going to use a list called grabbable objects. And remember, we have to create a list of all the objects that we can grab inside of um, our world. I'm not going to put a scene in here because that would really kind of slow this down. But our grabbable objects get added to our list. Then we're going to do the same for loop we did before. Uh, I think I'm going to do 10, you know, just do a 10 by 10. And we'll do 20 to 30. So we get 30, not 230, that would be a lot. And then notice what I'm doing here differently. Instead of just doing adding the child, where I'm adding the beach ball with the position X, Y, and Z, and the scale. I'm adding in each one of those things to the list. Now this is pretty cool what Python's doing here. It's doing two things at one time in one line. First, it's adding the child, the beach ball, into the scene. Then it's also adding it to the grabbable objects list. The last thing I have to do is tell Python that I'm going to use the grabber tool and I'm going to set the grabbable items to that list grabbable objects. Now we've done this before, we're grabbing things, but now we're going to do a whole array of grabbable objects. In just 14 lines of code, we get this really cool array of grabbable beach balls. It'll take a minute to load. There we go. So now I have my uh, grid, my 10 by 10 grid of grabbable beach balls. I'm going to fly up to one of them. And you can see they highlight green when I fly up. And I can just grab one and pull it out of the grid like fly it over here out of the way. So we can go and start pulling these beach balls out of the grid and placing them wherever we want. Now, I'm kind of a Star Trek fan. And for me, this kind of looks like, um, you know, the Borg, the Borg beach ball grid. Put this one over here and turn around maybe. Fly backwards. There we go. And you can see I can start pulling these beach balls out of this grid. That's uh, what you guys are going to do. I'd like you to create a grid of beach balls and make it so you can grab those beach balls out of the grid. Uh, you're going to upload your .py file as also a screenshot of your grabbable grid of beach balls. But if you want to get creative, it doesn't have to be beach balls. It could be anything that you want to add to a grid. It could be any object that you decide that you've downloaded from Tinkercad or anything else and upload it to your grid that you make grabbable. Well, that's all for now. I will see you next time.